and welcome to this video on dwarf beans. I really love dwarf beans. They're really, really interesting to grow. They're fantastic croppers and they're a delight to watch. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my dwarf beans. I'm going to be covering when I planted them, what the variety is, I'm going to be cropping some and I'm going to be doing a recipe with them later on this evening. So let's get into it. Let's begin by looking at the anatomy of dwarf beans. Dwarf beans are also called French beans and this variety is called tender green. They have beautiful delicate purple flowers which when they shrivel up the bean emerges and grows really really quickly. The body of the bean has a mottled stripe effect on it which makes it look a little bit dirty but it doesn't detract from the quality of the bean and its flavour. The plants grow to about 18 inches in height and I tend to stake them and tie the bean plants to them to give them some stability. The tying up of the plant doesn't always succeed and sometimes the plant escapes and flops over anyway but all you can do is try and sometimes the plant grows even better than 18 inches and makes it all the way up to about two feet or 60 centimeters maybe sometimes a little bit more even. I've had so much success with these this year so I'm really excited to see how much produce I get. So let's take a closer look at the delicate flowers and here we can see these lovely light purple and I would say that they're purple and not pink because you can tell the difference and these are definitely a purple hue. Now I planted these beans on the 26th of April and they have done incredibly well and I think that's probably partly due to the uh, fantastic weather we've had this year. Also, I note that the volume of production this year has been fantastic. There's so many beans here. I'm really, really impressed. I planted about, let's see, six buckets with six bean plants in each bucket. So 36 plants and they have done really, really well. So now it's time to start cropping them. So I'm going to take off a good crop in this initial round. Now I tend to use a pair of scissors, you might have seen this before in one of my previous videos when I was cutting the snap peas and here you can see that I cut them with the scissors at the very top and this gives a nice clean cut and it means that there's very little work to do once you get these beans to the kitchen. Now it's time to do a weigh in and here you can see I'm loading this bowl with the crop and we have 467 grams. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. Cooking a chicken and dwarf bean casserole. We begin by dicing the chicken. Under a running tap, peel a large onion. In a very large saucepan, coarsely cut up the onion. Add 75 to 100 ml of extra virgin olive oil. Add the diced chicken. Turn the gas on. 
and stir. Stir and brown the onion and the chicken for 10 minutes until it is a deep caramelized brown. Then turn the heat down. Whilst the chicken and onion are on a low heat, peel a large potato. Now cut the potato into small rough pieces. And give it a little stir. Now wash the dwarf beans. And add to the casserole. Now add three pints of water, that's one and a half litres. Now turn the heat back up to full and stir in. Now it's time to add salt, and pepper. Now as you can see, I really like my pepper. Now it's time to add double concentrated tomato puree. So this is a 200 ml tube and I like to add all of it. Give it another little stir. And I'm just going to add a little bit of oregano just to give it some texture. And that's it. Now it's just a matter of leaving it to cook for around about one hour. I'm going to cover it with the lid, turn the heat up until it starts to boil, and then I'm going to turn the heat down and let it cook for an hour.
While still hot, serve immediately. The juice from this casserole is absolutely delicious. This can be served as is, or it can be served with some bread to mop up all those lovely juices. chicken and dwarf bean casserole. With a side of spring onion. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.